Hello and welcome to Principles of Accounting. My name is Mr. Harris and I'll be your teacher for this course. Uh, there are several sections of this course this semester. The one I have pulled up here on the screen is the online section. There's also a seated section and a hybrid section. This video will, uh, will work for all three of them. This is just a welcome to class video to try to get you acclimated to the course and what is uh, expected of you. If you're in the online course and think that you might have trouble um, maybe you don't have uh, a whole lot of self-motivation, uh, maybe you struggle with math, I would encourage you to um, consider joining either one, the, either the seated section or the web-enhanced section that's at night. And um, if, you, if you have any trouble or questions as to how to go about making the switch, please contact me. Okay, so it's important that, uh, that you get running with this class and get your hands on a book pronto. The first uh, chapter is super important, and everything in this course builds on the first five chapters. If you don't understand the first five chapters, you're really going to struggle with the later ones. Um, so if you have to pick a time to slack off in this class, please make it uh, more towards the end and not in the beginning. One of the first things that you're going to need to do before you can continue if you're in the web enhanced or online class is to participate in this fall attendance verification assignment. It's not necessary if you're in the seated class. And um, if you're watching this, that means you've clicked on this welcome to class video, so I appreciate it. One of the first things you're going to do is click on the course syllabus. There's a little bit about me. There's my picture, uh, my office phone number my office hours, and my email address. This is the best way to get up with me. Um, even when I'm at my house, whatever time I'm up, or before I go to bed, I'll be glad to respond to you. Course information. You can see this is a uh, four credit hour course. Um, section hours, if you're seated, if you're in web enhanced, or if you're online. Some course learning outcomes there, materials and fees. Okay, so this is a loose leaf book bundled with Cengage. And by getting you a loose leaf book, it's saving you a lot of money um, instead of the hardcover. And a lot of people like it because if you want to, if you want to just take, let's say we're working on Chapter 7, you can just pull a Chapter 7 out of the loose leaf uh, binder and just bring that to class. You don't have to lug around this uh, really heavy book. Here's the ISBN. You're going to have to have this thing called Cengage. This is what you're going to complete your homework in. It's a pretty cool thing because it lets you know right away if you're right or if you're wrong with your answer. And um, it'll grade things immediately. It also tells you, uh, you know, not only if you got something wrong, but, but where to go in the book to, uh, to figure out why you missed it. There's videos, games, um, uh, tutorials, all sorts of things in here. I'll show you uh, this in just a second. So let's go back up here. Course attendance policy. If you miss more than 20% of the class, um, uh, college policy is that you're going to be dropped from the course, and you're going to excuse me, and you're going to receive a uh, failing grade, and you don't want that. Um, I'm going to take attendance at the beginning of class for those of you in a seated class. So if you're tardy, you're going to be counted absent, and it's it's kind of inconsiderate to the other students. You can't see it. But I'm up in the front of the class, and I can see everybody giving you stink eye when you come uh, clanking in late. So make sure you're there uh, on time. And uh, for those of you in the online or uh, web-enhanced section, make sure that you turn in the quiz uh, or exam when applicable, or otherwise that's going to be counted uh, as an absence. As far as late work goes, that's not going to be accepted unless you're in the hospital, death in the family, something like that. Um, so let me know before, if possible, let me know before the deadline, and I'll, it'll be easier for me to work with you. Um, let's take a look at the grading plan here. So we're using a 10-point scale here. Cengage is 55% of your grade. It's going to take you a while to do this every week, and I wanted to, uh, to assign a good portion of your grade to that. Quizzes are going to be more difficult. You only have one take on them. With the Cengage assignments, you're going to be given three takes and only the top grade will be kept. Uh, there's going to be some discussion board slash class participation that's 5% and your tests are 20%. So even if you struggle with the quizzes and the tests, as long as you're willing to put in the time to complete the homework and uh, even if you have to go back and do it a second time to uh, up your grade, 
it's still possible to do okay in this class, right? So once again, uh, 10 point scale. So like I said, we're going to have homework assignments, quizzes, tests, and discussion boards. Let's take a look at the schedule here. So I'm going to split chapter one into two parts. It's crucial that you understand chapter these first five chapters. These are the real meat and taters, as they say, the meat and potatoes of the class here. So you really need to understand these in order to understand these other chapters. These later chapters don't build on each other, but they all uh, are, uh, are built on these first five. So we're going to split chapter one into two parts. So your first two weeks, you'll be covering those two chapters. And notice here that all work is due at 11.45 p.m. on the due date unless otherwise noted. So your Cengage homework and quiz for each of these weeks is going to be due then. Um, for the online section, this is when your test is going to be due. For the web enhanced and seated sections, you're going to be taking your exam in class. Please take a second if you're in the online course to check out these tips for student success in an online course. Um, we have a community uh, Carteret Community College Business Program uh, Facebook page. It's a good way to stay connected with the school. I have these videos here prepared by me as an optional study aid for you. These are uh, located on a YouTube page. If you click on this, it will uh, it will take you here to all these different. Um, videos there's a ton of them here okay so these are ones that I've made just for this class and um, I strongly encourage you to use these especially if you are in an online section these are basically after I've given a lecture I've come back and uh, pulled up the PowerPoint slides or problems and walked you through them almost the same way I would if you were in class so like I said those are uh, super helpful I think um, you'll get a lot of uh, benefit from those. Um, check out this free online business course, Tutoring, if you need some extra help. We have tutors here that are online that can help you. Um, there's another website here called principlesofaccounting.com. They do a, a good job of explaining it from a different perspective. And PowerPoints for this class are also available through Cengage uh, on their website. Here's some other things. What does it take to be a CPA, dress for success, careers in accounting, etc., etc. All right, so feel free to check those out if you're enjoying this course and think you want to pursue a career in accounting. So this first half of Chapter 1, um, you're going to check this little link out I'll have here for you, and it gives you pointers as to how to complete your Cengage homework. And... Um, We'll talk about that a little bit more in a couple minutes, but you will have um, some access keys. You get one access code when you purchase the book, and you get another one that tells them what course you're in. Okay, So uh, there's lots of people that use Cengage that teach accounting classes all throughout the country, and uh, Cengage needs to know what specific class you're in, and that's the class key. I'll provide you with that. Let's just scroll down here so I can kind of show you what a normal week will look like. There's Chapter 1 Instructions, or Chapter 1 Part 2 Instructions, and there's quizzes here, Chapter 2, uh, Part 2 of the first chapter. Now these quizzes are multiple choice and they are timed, okay? Um, so let's take a look at the instructions for Chapter 1 Part 2. Here I kind of tell you what we're up to. I give you a uh, link to do your homework and Cengage, and that's kind of what a typical week is going to look like, right? Um, you can kind of ignore this just for now, but you'll want to read it when you're when you're getting there. But for most, uh, when 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 we're covering this chapter, you're going to want to read that. But for most of these, you'll see there's the same thing. There are instructions. There's a link to the homework that you're going to complete, and then there's the quiz here. All right. So let's talk about this Cengage thing. Now, when you, you're not going to be able to see every single uh, chapter like this, um, like I can because I'm the instructor, to look a little different from your perspective. But let's check this. One of the first things you're going to want to do is, uh, is complete this, how to use Cengage now. So what you're going to do, this is not graded, by the way, but you click on this, and um, you'll just click Start. And there are uh, some videos here for you. 
So it's important if you're a first time Cengage user that you check out some of these videos here. Completing course assignments. You're going to definitely want to watch this video and accessing your grades you'll want to watch that. This is the main one you're, that you're going to want to watch. Okay, so it's going to just Welcome to Cengage Learning's video. It's just going to take you through how to complete your assignments. If you click on the grade book, that's where you can go to see your grades. Study tools. Let's check this out for a second. So in these study tools, you're going to see that there's all sorts of different things for you to check out. I'm not sure why some of the study tools aren't shown right now. I'll get to the bottom of it. <clears throat> but just so you know, there are also practice tests here and all sorts of things. So make sure you come back and check out these study tools when you have a second. So just to recap, in most weeks you will have um, a homework assignment that's due and a quiz that's due. After the first four chapters, we'll have our first test, and we'll have two more tests after that. Test number three is going to be your final. It is not comprehensive. It will cover chapters 9, 11, 12, and 13. I'm here to help you, so if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me either by phone, email, or just drop by my office. I want you to succeed in this class, and I'll do whatever I can to help you, and I hope you have a great week.